Welcome back to the Green on Gift House. Today we're going to discuss the heating and cooling system. Here we actually have a relatively new air source heat pump. It was replaced in 2009. And while it is code minimum efficiency still, the way they installed it drastically decreased the performance of the system. So they took a relatively efficient air source heat pump and installed ductwork horribly. The ductwork has crimps, it has bends, and you can see that behind me now. This house is a great example of the importance of duct leakage testing. Here we found that the leakage was literally off the charts. Some of the leakage pathways were pretty easily identified, such as a supply duct that was just laying disconnected from the actual air handler. Other leaks were a little more hidden and it took us a second to find. Here is one of the really bad things about the system. So this is the return plenum on the system. What that means is this is where the air is coming from the house being drawn into the system, ideally filtered and then heated or cooled through the heat pump and then going out the other end through the supplies and being provided supplied throughout the house. The reason this is so problematic is you can see they use just really, it's actually not even code approved tape to seal this up and just over the years it has come loose. So this is one of the reasons why when we tested the duct leakage it was off the charts. The irony of this is right here is where the air pressure in the system is the most negative, meaning the suction's the greatest. So if this system were running right now the majority of the air would just be sucked in right through here. Um, and the return ducts are going to do very little, if anything. Measuring the duct leakage is essential for ensuring the performance of the system. Any amount of leakage is money that you've paid to heat and cool that air that you're just throwing away into the attic. So on the one hand, it's going to impact the, the energy efficiency of the system, your comfort by throwing away nice cool air conditioned air in the summertime up in an attic and then it also can really negatively impact indoor air quality by sucking in pollutants. So in this house before the renovation return leakage was actually drawing attic air into the system. So it was a way to get hot nasty attic air into the house. Similar thing can happen when your ductwork is in a crawl space. The ideal system is really airtight. You want it leak free, just like a plumbing system. The reality is it's pretty hard to achieve that, but getting it down to just a percent or two leakage is very achievable. Most homeowners do not know what to recognize in terms of a well-installed heating and cooling system. The previous owner of this house, when they purchased the new heat pump, they probably assumed that they were getting a good performing system. When in reality, there are a number of things wrong. One, the thermostat was actually for a furnace and not a air source heat pump. So we had to replace that just to get the system turned on in the beginning. Next, the ductwork is a mess. You can see where it's been pinched by the straps holding it up. There's excessive bends throughout the system, so airflow is miserable. And then early on before we started demolition, we actually tested the leakage of the system to see how tight the duct system was and it was literally off the charts. We could not measure it. And the reason is some of the ductwork is actually disconnected. It has fallen apart. It is no longer attached. And that's where third party verification comes in. And my company, SK Collaborative, that's one of the services we provide, is we come in and actually inspect and verify that HVAC systems are installed properly, that envelopes, that homes are nice and tight and will perform efficiently. That's a summary of all the things that are wrong with this system and bad duct design in general. In the next couple days, we're gonna actually replace all of the ductwork as well as um, install a larger filter slot so we can have a better filter on the system that will improve the indoor air quality as well. Follow along on the Green on Gift blog and thank you for watching the videos.